there is such thing as Sudoku that is played on hexagonal spaces. One of those variations is called Hanidoku. H-A-N-I-D-O-K-U. There are two versions of Hanidoku. A seven number version and a nine number version. In the seven number version of Hanidoku, the grid has 37 hexagons with six orthogonal peripheries of four and with three maximum orthogonal lines of seven in a shape of a regular hexagon. And in the seven number version, the objective is to place numbers one to seven so each number on each orthogonal line does not repeat. In the nine number version of Hanidoku, the grid has 61 hexagons with six orthogonal peripheries of five and with three maximum orthogonal lines of nine in a shape of a regular hexagon. And in the nine number version, the objective is to place numbers one to nine so each number on each orthogonal line does not repeat. And so each orthogonal line follows the straight rule. The numbers on each orthogonal line have to be in a consecutive combination. The ones and the nines are terminals. The straight rule is impossible for the seven number version. There will always be a five in each orthogonal line. There will always be a four and a six in each orthogonal line that has a minimum length of six. There will always be a three and a seven in each orthogonal line that has a minimum length of seven. There will always be a two and an eight in each orthogonal line that has a minimum length of eight. There is another Sudoku variation that the grid has 49 hexagons with seven subgrids that are shaped in a regular hexagon each that each orthogonal periphery of two with an area of seven hexagons each. And in this variation, the objective is to place numbers one to seven. So each number on each orthogonal line of five or of seven does not repeat. And so each number on each subgrid does not repeat. I wish that hexagonal slash triangular playing cards exist. What are the uses for hexagonal slash triangular playing cards? You may play NIM, blackjack variation or rummy variation, by placing cards to the objective of what variation that you are playing. I would like to see triangular triomedos that have suits that are numbered 0 to 5 in card form instead of tile form because cards are easy to carry and to shuffle and because people cannot feel the engravings of the face up card. People who have a sense of touch can identify what the tile is. Thus, 
obsoleteness of luck. I would like to add 20 more triomino cards that each number suit is all different in each triomino card in ascending order counterclockwise with the 20 triomino cards that each number suit is all different in each triomino card in ascending order clockwise. Feel free to use my ideas into publications because my ideas are public domain and I do not care about the ownerships of intellectual property rights and about royalty money because God is the owner of earth and because God orders us to share public information with one another. Mostly you played a NIM variation by making squares from dot to dot on a piece of paper. Did you know that there are NIM variations by making regular hexagons from dot to dot on a piece of paper and by making regular triangles from dot to dot on a piece of paper. Use the paint program from Windows accessories to draw a grid of regular hexagons or of regular triangles. Use the line width of 8px and use 25% of gray. When you play NIM, you will be able to trace along the line by using a number two pencil, make a regular hexagon or a regular triangle by dragging and copy that regular hexagon or that regular triangle and paste to make copies of regular hexagon or of regular triangles and drag the regular hexagons or the regular triangles to make a tessellation. Make sure that the transparent selection from select is on when you copy and paste to make a tessellation. You may also use the paint program from Windows Accessories to make Sudoku grids for hexagonal space variations or for triangular space variations. You may also use the paint program from Windows Accessories to make a grid of hexagons for contact ticks. Thank you for understanding my lecture about hexagons. I hope that you understand the geometry of hexagons and please support games that contain hexagonal space 